Okay, I'm not sure how much of that you heard because I just realized the chair looks bigger than you. It is. It is. Never used to be the case. Never used to be the case, but it is now, which I'm really glad about. So we're gonna we're gonna make a bit of a start. Well, not a start, we're just gonna do a continuation of what we were doing before. This chair is so comfortable. There are no more chair of death jokes. Um, this is amazing. So today, um, I'm feeling, I, I'm not in a lot of pain, which is the first thing that I can turn around and say. However, what I'm getting today is I'm getting a lot of stomach issues. Um, but I'm going to have to talk to my doctor again to see what's what. And uh, see where we go from here. It may just be the case that my gallstone's ready to come out. And if that's the case, then I've got to put on my big boy pants and go and get it taken out. Problem is for me is actually getting to speak to my doctors. But I don't really want to make all of this about me today. I, I come in here because I was excited to see you all, so to speak. And also so I could do a bit more on my granddaughter's picture make this look a bit better but um yeah I've, I've been missing streaming like you wouldn't believe i've been trying to keep my uh trust i want to make it all about me then makes it all about me <laughs> as the irony is not lost on me people i apologize supplies! oh shit it <laughs> supplies mr pitbull the man the myth the legend how are you doing buddy Uh, I figured I'd fight off my demons today and get on here and, and do a little something something. I'm good all things considered. All things considered? What does that mean? What what proud me? Just while I'm waiting for the answer to that question, I just want to let everybody know something, right? I've always wanted to be a millionaire and just like most people have and have loads of money and stuff. And then, you know what? I realized something whilst I've not been very well. It doesn't matter how much money you have in this world. Without your help, you're nothing. So I I'm going to give you a tip now for those of you who don't do it, right? Because I didn't, and I am now. Uh, eat properly. I know everybody skint this day these days. Don't have a lot of money. Uh, food banks are overrun. People don't have any money because of the cost of living crisis. But some of these people are also the same people that can go to the pub, you know, for a pint every now and again, or they can go to a restaurant every now and again, or to the movies or whatever. Do yourself a favour, buy yourself some decent food. Actually get in your kitchen and learn to cook. Stop eating the processed crap. Look after yourself. Because when you ain't got your health, you got nothing. Uh, well, the day before we left for the cruise a couple of weeks ago, um, the handle in our kitchen faucet broke. It's still usable, but we need to be... Oh, no. Oh, don't tell me you had floods. You ever considered moving that house to see that house that you live in seems to be a bit of a jinx. <laughs> you know, you get random people smashing their cars through your front door. I think it might be a clue to move.
we finally got someone out to replace it for us uh no one wanted to give us an estimate they just wanted to show up and do the work well yeah that's typical these days once they got you by the balls they got you Uh, they replaced it yesterday. The guy had to cut out the old faucet out because the original installer glued it in place. Hmm. Yeah, not surprised. You know, this is why I learned how to do all this kind of stuff myself. So I don't get ripped off by these cowboys. That's that bit there. Nice bit of pink. All right, what color are we doing next? That's going to be an. Should I do a nine or an eight? Let's do an eight. What is eight anyway? Oh. Not an hour after he left, my daughter noticed water in her garage. Uh, it appears our hot water heater has developed a little... Oh, my life, really? <sighs> so the domino effect is well and truly in place. I should actually take an ear cup off because that way then I don't shout. I know I don't need to with this new mic. Then we can keep things mellow and somber. Chilled and relaxed. I figured this time I'd start this picture off from the top. And then that way, then for the majority of the picture of, I can turn it the right way up and actually paint it. It's just a little more awkward for me to paint on this chair because I'm not as high as I was before. And obviously with it being like a lounge chair, it's more inclined to want you to sit back in it and relax. So, um, yeah, I mean, that's nothing I can't handle. But. So I get a call this morning to see if they can come take a look. Okay. You know what's nice? Been in here, what, five or ten minutes and it just doesn't feel like I ever left. Well, I didn't leave, but you, you get what I mean. It just feels like, it just feels comfortable. It feels natural and it feels nice. And that's because of you all. What just went to do? do? I heard something that's never a noise I've heard before. Weird. So I get a call from this one to see if they can take it. Oh yeah, I did read it. Any more eights up here? I don't think there is. There is an eight there, which will probably get done. Let's see if we can just... Knock all of this off. Uh, oh, you, uh, you have to call them in a few minutes. Right, okay. Uh, 
if it don't rain, it pours, eh? What is... Oh, I've been putting my bloody finger in this wet paint. Silly. Move over there. Just my hand up a little bit. I wasn't particularly paying attention. Yeah. Okay. So when I sit up now, it starts to really aggravate my stomach, which is what I was coming in here to see. Ah, dear. Well, my wife is a certified hoarder, and <laughs> her garage is packed to the roof with boxes of stuff that she refuses to get rid of. Wow. Well, uh, which, of course, now, a lot of which are so. Oh, no. Well, no time like the present. Do some cleaning, I suppose. Still a pain, though. Fill my water thing back up again because it's getting a bit empty here. So this one is a nine. I do that. a bit of a small brush to do this with but it's not right just glad to be back well i'm not back sorry let me let me let me just preface that one straight away i'm not back i just i want i wanted to come in and and see you guys Uh, she's stressing over what what to do. And I know better to answer the first thing that came to my mind. <laughs> Rent a dumpster and throw it out. Yeah, exactly. Um, Maybe this is the time to turn around and say, well, what we should do is we should go through the stuff and we should see what is actually worth keeping. And then downsizing a little because you know problems like this will come up again in future good way of kind of saying rent a dumpster and throw it all out i guess <laughs> so our weekend is pretty much planned yes well it's nice to look forward to something isn't it <clears throat> Honestly, the attic in my place is is a, an absolute dump fest because I have the same kind of hoarding mentality. Oh, I'll find a use for that one day, and then invariably never do. But you know, it doesn't stop me from uh, hoarding it still. And the loft needs cleaning out. I've been asking for seven years for my kids to do it. And every time I mention it to my wife, she says the same thing. Oh, oh, I was thinking about that the other day. I was going to do it next week. It's the same answer every single time for seven years. And then whenever I get the ump, because it's like, well, I've heard this before. I've heard this before. She's like, oh, no, 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 we're really going to do it. And it never gets done. It's, honestly, it's true. It's it's ridiculous. You know, but if I ever played that card and did that, my life, my life would be terrible. See? Equality. Yes, uh, that's what I want to do. Rent a dumpster and throw it all out. See, now you're just sounding like the perfect woman, Furious. Y you you are. You you've got to stop. You're making me think about my life choices. <laughs> so how do you feel about, you know, old good looking fat men? 
just 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 a curiosity off the cuff question for no reason whatsoever <laughs> i think she's pleading the fifth everyone <laughs> Um, eight. So we'll do a little number seven, eleven, and two. Let's do the two first. I think uh, I saved my ex's old stuff in case uh, he ever wanted it. But we've been divorced since two thousand eight. I, I, do you know what? I agree with you. I think it is probably about time. Definitely. Make sure there's nothing in there of any value. You know. few years have gone past what was junk then is probably someone's treasure now spoken like a true holder <laughs> i should have waited for that oh why am i doing the number 11 in that you plank oh, i'll stop there then I'm hoping 11's dark color. And it's not, it's a lighter pink one. What are the odds? Old baseball cards and bowling balls with no holes drilled in it. Wow. Okay, well, baseball cards can be very lucrative, depending on who they are. I don't know much about baseball, but I know that baseball cards can be um, worth a lot of money. It's not going to hurt to let somebody take a look. You never know. You could get yourself a ticket to England. The rest was closed in his photography project. Any cameras or anything? It'll do you the world of good, actually, to just get rid of that stuff. Mentally, I mean. Baseball cards should be sold, not thrown out. Bowling ball should be thrown out. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hi, Mark. Oh, hey. You dad. Oh, that is. That applies. <laughs> I know, I said just like that guy. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? I, I figured I'd try and come on here for a little bit today, do a bit of painting, just catch up with you all. Not exactly in the, the best of what's it, but it is what it is. And I can't just keep laying back doing bugger all, all the time. And I want to be in here doing this. So kind of fighting with myself right now. But I have to be honest, my stomach is starting to win, which isn't, which isn't good. And I'm still waiting to hear back from the doctor. Because this long with a gallstone attack or a gallstone problem isn't natural, isn't right. And I, I'm not going to lie to you all. 
I I am starting to get just an insy wincy little bit concerned. Uh, I kept his Glock, but I'm not getting rid of that. No, exactly. Yabaha! How you doing, buddy? Uh, you're about to get on a plane. Just wanted to say I've been enjoying our interactions on Ignite. Oh, nice. Uh, if it is indeed you. Unfortunately, buddy, it's not me. You'd know if it was me. Believe me, but it's not. I haven't been in Ignite for ages. <laughs> Uh, he won't be back. He's gone 15 years. No, exactly. Exactly. Sod him. And if it's worth anything, you go and have yourself a good time off the money. Where are you off to, Dabaha? Yeah, you know what they say about assuming makes an ass out of you and me. <laughs> but no, unfortunately, it's not. I, I, I want to get into Ignite. I do. But the problem is, is I can barely stream at the moment with my stomach and stuff. I don't want to keep going on about it, even though I constantly do. Um, but yeah, it's kind of my problem at the moment. And there's not really a lot I can do about it. So unfortunately, I didn't get my PhD in doctorate in school. You're back at, oh, you're up London's. Mum's not, oh, tell her happy birthday from me. Not that she knows me, but, you know, it's the thought that counts. Stay safe up there. London ain't what it used to be, as you well know. Have a safe trip, and uh, I will definitely see you when you get back, buddy. And enjoy the birthday. 90 years of age. Wow. you got to wonder how many stories a lady like that's got, right? What she's seen in her life. What she thinks of life now. Uh, not going near central London, flying in Luton. Ah, oh, oh, my mate, my mate lives literally five minutes from Luton Airport. Yeah, eight birthdays. It's my birthday soon, everyone. July the 30th. I am 48 years young. 48 Jesus time is definitely catching up nice yeah I kind of like Loon uh it's it's my unbirthday today <laughs> I'm 41 buddy 42 May 24 <laughs> may the fourth be with you <laughs> I don't mind birthdays I just wish that the age would uh, I wish they'd stop giving me an extra year you know I've had that present every year since I've been born and I, I'm kind of getting sick of it so it would be nice if they come up with something new uh, here's a Ferrari not, not just another year <laughs> and also with you <laughs> my granddaughter doesn't even know I'm doing this one for her she's the one that, that didn't actually pick this one her sisters did and I'm kind of excited to give it to her because like I said, I know she absolutely adores dinosaurs. Uh, right, trains arriving. Catch you soon. Take care, buddy. Enjoy yourself. And we'll see you when you get back. Number seven on this one. This 
uh, I had to tell them to stop buying me a cake because they got to the point where there were so many candles that the fire department declared it a hazard. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll get in it. Do you know what? I, I, I used to be afraid of getting old and stuff, and, and, and now I'm just not. I just embrace it. It's like men who are going bald and they're wearing a wig and whatever else. Why, why, why bother? Seriously, if the world can't accept you the way it is, maybe you're in the wrong part of the bloody world. Like, I'm losing this weight because of I want to lose weight, right? And I, I want to feel better, right? I am not doing this for anyone else. It's not that I don't care about people's opinions. It's just that why should I let them influence my life so much? Like the old saying goes, you do you, boo. That's why even as a really big bloke, it never really bothered me going into a room full of people. I never got anxious, never got anxiety feelings until I started suffering with panic attacks and stuff. But it's just because I was confident. I'm confident in myself. A lesson that a lot of people could learn. I'm going to add some of this flow stuff in here, if you give me a minute or so. Because this one seems a little thicker than I'd like it to be. And just want to see the difference this makes in this paint sorry for me talking i'm holding the brush in my teeth as you could probably gather but i'm hoping soon like when i when i get to the doctors there might be something else even if it is just removing it at this point um i'm hoping that they're going to come up with something to take this pain away um, and like I, I was saying to my missus the other day like you're gonna hear me like sound just like that you're gonna hear me sound like i'm in pain it's not actual pain it's just a feeling that is incredibly i can't i can't even articulate it and i'm usually good with my words i can't explain to you how it feels right but um it kind of takes my breath away I look forward to birthdays because the older I get, the more acceptable it becomes to be a grouchy bastard. <laughs> get off my lawn! 